Well, hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay, and today I'm gonna to give you five things that you can do with the radial hotshot. Well, uh, what we have on the bench today is something for you uh, guitar YouTubers out there. It's actually one of the secret weapons I use in this studio. It's perfect for live uh, music directors or studio cats or uh, podcasters. This is the Hotshot by Radial Engineering. In a nutshell, all this thing does is you plug your microphone into it and it splits it out into two different outputs uh, that you switch between with the foot switch on top. You could put the foot switch in latching mode or momentary mode. There is a ground lift and there is a, a version of it that does supply 48 volts of phantom power to your microphone. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm gonna show you five different things you can do with this box to make your life a lot easier. And uh, if you are a budding YouTube guitarist out there, I'm gonna tell you my uh, secret little use of this thing as well. Uh, so keep your eyes open. Let's plug this thing in and get to work. So before I dig into the uses of this little box, let's just figure out exactly what's going on here. Uh, right now I have this little dynamic Lewitt mic going into the input. It doesn't need phantom power, so the phantom power is off. Now my main output A is going to my board and then output B is going to a different channel in my board. Now I can switch between the two channels by pushing this switch. Now if I hold on to it, I'll go to channel B and if I let go, I'll go to channel A. Um, there's a button here as well, which is my latching button. So instead of holding it, I could just press it and I'll go there. So depending on your use, uh, you can switch that on or off. So the first application is actually the most popular application I see. Actually a, a person in a band like that I know really well uses this all the time. And that is as a music director or a uh, band leader uh, setup. So what happens is he has his singing mic. This is the mic he'll use to sing and do all his talking uh, to the audience. And that's just the line A feed going into the board being projected through the PA. Now, when he wants to talk to the band, all he has to do is press B and then B will actually send his voice to a different channel. And that channel is gonna go directly to the in-ears of everyone else in the band. So it's just as easy as, you know, singing into the mic, doing your thing, and then if you wanna tell the band to switch songs or uh, to skip a, a repeat or, you know, uh, to cover for someone who broke a string, all he has to do is just press the button, tell the band, no one else is gonna hear it, it's just gonna go direct to their in-ears and you could just continue rocking on without anybody noticing. You also don't have to be a music director to get the most out of this box when you're performing live. I find this uh, thing is great uh, if you are actually a uh, person that needs two different processing tones for your one microphone. So say you're a singer that plays harmonica or you're a singer that plays the flute or a person that needs a like a lyrical reverby sounding voice and also a rap voice. Well, what you can do is uh, have your microphone and process your standard singing tone through output A and then through output B, you could reset the gain amount, you could reset your effect levels and everything to match the other instrument that you're playing. I'll show you an example. So right now I have it set in latching mode. So I have to do is just treat it almost like a guitar pedal, you know, press it on and I'm at that next sound. When I'm in A, uh, this is my voice. So it's kind of like a, uh, you know, my, a reverby, uh, singing kind of voice. Now say I have a talk box and I start singing through it. Now that sound is really cool, but it's it might not be the perfect sound uh, for the way I have this microphone set. So what I can do is switch to channel B and channel B will change the gain to match more my singing voice and also change the parameters of my effects to match the talk box a little bit better. So now that we've gone over uh, two live uses, here are two uh, studio uses that you can use for this. So number one is actually using it as a talkback mic activator. So I just grabbed this microphone, it's a condenser microphone, so I activated the uh, phantom power on it. 
and I put the output to output B. So nothing is connected into output A. So pretty much what that means is when I'm in uh, this momentary mode, when I hold on to B, the microphone turns on, and when I tick it off, it's muted. I'm back into my overhead mic. So uh, if I'm in the studio and I need to talk to my talent, I can just press the button, talk to my talent, give them notes, tell them what to do for the next take, and then release my hand. And then they can't hear me anymore. So I don't accidentally forget to turn off my talkback mic and they're hearing me talking in the background while they're doing a take. It just makes things a lot quicker. And for the exact opposite of it, what I can do is actually move this into output A and now I have the opposite. Now this microphone is on at all times and when I press it, it's muted. And now I have a cough button for podcasts. So if I'm doing podcast, radio kind of stuff, anything where I need to record audio and maybe want to have a moment to cough or to sneeze or I want to give a note to somebody and I don't want the audience to hear, I could just talk into the microphone, hold on to this, do my cough, release it, and I'm back on the air. Pretty cool. Now for my last one, I'm going to tell you about how I actually use this the most and that is actually for my YouTube setup. Now my problem when I'm making these videos for you is I have uh, two things I'm recording. One is my voice, which is done with this condenser microphone right above my head. And the other way I'm recording is uh, with this little IR box here. So my amp goes into here and this is recorded separately. Now, when I play my guitar, what happens is not only does the sound come out of the IR box and everything, but also whatever sound is going on in the room is gonna be picked up from that mic and it doesn't really sound that great. <laughs> It's a little bit too loud up here. It'll clip the microphone. Also, the placement of that microphone isn't really the best for the acoustics of my amplifier. I just want to hear this. Now, what I used to do is I would have to go on my DAW and edit out when I'm you know, playing. I will just mute when I'm ta my talking track. Or I would use something like sidechain compression or reverse gates and stuff. Now, I could just use this hot shot. Pretty much what happens is when I'm talking, I have my overhead mic plugged into here. Output A is my main vocal recording. So when I'm talking, you hear what I'm saying. And then when I play, I just mute my voice. <laughs> Click it again when I'm ready to talk and that just makes life so much easier. A lot less editing in post-production or when I'm doing live you know, chats and everything, I don't have to worry about doing anything. Now you might be wondering, why do I have output B uh, cabled up? Well, this is actually going to a separate channel and I actually use it as a fail safe, just in case I step on this at the wrong time or I you know, accidentally get my channels mixed up and have it muted when it should be playing and playing when it should be muted. It kind of serves as a backup that I could pull up anytime I want. And that is pretty much how I use this box the majority of the time. Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the Hot Shot, please check it out on Patreon. I do my reviews on Patreon. I do all my demos right here on YouTube as well as my tutorials and all the other stuff. Uh, my question today is actually for all you uh, gear YouTubers like myself out there. What do you do to solve the playing and microphone issue in your videos? Uh, do you just record your guitar playing and you're talking separately? Uh, do you just edit it in post-production? Or are you using studio tools like sidechain compressors or reverse gates? Please, I'm really curious to hear how you get around that problem. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.